A coastal town in Japan has decided to use some of their COVID relief funds on a giant squid sculpture. Now, they're trying to do something about tourism. That's one of the ways that they make money in this town. And so you should, t I love that you guys got the B-roll of the squid. <laughs> like it's fantastic, it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, but this is what, they're, look at it. That is pretty cool. They're so That's an amazing. alien. Look at that. Let's that just, is just an alien. It's okay guys, go ahead and take that rip and then just enjoy this footage <laughs> that, that I'm sure <laughs> Brett found for this story. Um, but anyway. This is Anna's octopus teacher right here. You guys, nature is amazing. It's so amazing. Nature is metal. It is. Follow that page on Instagram. <laughs> it's Some so good. Is. is that a thing on Instagram? Yes, and okay, it's incredible. We'll By it the way, I follow Round Boys on Instagram, which is just animals that are round. It's very cute. <laughs> oh my god! It's very cute. I got. I'm gonna follow that page. <laughs> but anyway, um, so. This town was like, okay, what do we need to do to increase tourism as soon as this pandemic thing is all taken care of? So they took their a portion of their COVID relief funds and they spent it on this lovely and in my opinion, very Japanese squid sculpture. Oh and the reason why I say very Japanese is because like, I, uh -oh. I don't, this is the kind of stuff that they do that like does actually increase tourism, right? Like. Am I interested? If someone asked me, are you interested in going to a place to see a massive squid sculpture? I would probably say no, why would I be interested in that? But it's just <laughs> it's just something that's so distinctly, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not articulating it because I don't know how, but mm -hmm. it's just, Japan is just such a fascinating place. <laughs> so, okay, let me give you the details. The town of Noto in Ishikawa, was awarded 800 million yen or 7.31 million dollars in grants from the central government as part of this aid program aimed at boosting local economies amid the pandemic. And so the squid is a local delicacy in Noto. Mm -hmm. And building the statue was part of a long-term strategy to raise awareness about the town's fishing industry and increase tourism. Yeah. Okay, so the I, I like had squid. seen I like squid tacos. Um, <laughs> tacos. The, I had seen the headline version of this story, and I think that the headline version of the story really is kind of messed up because mm -hmm. the impression I had gotten was they were given money to like deal with the pandemic, and they were like, "No, we're making a squid." No, <laughs> no this that's is not what very happened. much in line with what they were supposed to do then. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, no, and, and I'm look, not mad at them anymore. They received a giant chunk of money to help them with their local economy, mm -hmm. and they spent a portion of that giant sum of money on this statue. Um, so that's why I say let them go. Uh, the squid cost over two hundred eighty thousand dollars, which is a lot of money for a squid. Um, it's thirty feet long and thirteen feet tall. Uh, and by the way, there are a bunch of other tourist attractions throughout Tokyo that I'm gonna mention in just a second. But yeah. the one thing that I'm trying to figure out is what that hole is for. Like, There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so you gotta go, you gotta go travel to What's Japan, to Noto specifically. Yeah, um, And just crawl inside that hole and see what you find. Just, <laughs> just go to Japan and just crawl inside. Um, <laughs> can we put up the pictures again and can I become the, I, I was the good guy. Now can I be, go back to being the bad guy? I don't like it. I think it's I don't fine. Think it, look, that shot is okay, but when you go to the second shot, I don't know if we can the skip ahead. The one with the hole? That, that's uncomfortable and it looks, maybe all in right, person ben it's Shapiro, better. Let's all relax. <laughs> okay. Why is this squid so wet? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't love it. Now there are, there are massive sculptures, I don't know if this is one that you're gonna go to, but yeah. like the, the gigantic titans, I would go see that in Japan, that yeah. sounds cool. Yeah. This is why, okay, so now I can finally explain why I'm saying this it's is very fine. this is very Japan, because Japan does have tourist attractions that are kind of similar, mm -hmm. right? So now we get to go through this list. Okay. Um, so let's start off with Tokyo, which has a 60 foot tall Gundam statue uh, in Odaiba. So that looks like something you'd be into, John. I don't know what that is, but it seems like you'd love uh, it. I, I'm assuming, I don't think that that's a transformer. I think that's like a Gundam. I'm, I'm, that's yeah, not Gundam. a thing that I'm, that's what oh, it is a Gundam. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, that, that's not something that I, yeah, it's cool. I, I don't mm -hmm. buy them or assemble them, but it's cool. I would, I would wanna see something like that, sure. What exactly is a Gundam and how does it differ from a transformer? Uh, I mean, transformers are one particular 
franchise of basically, a Gundam is like a gigantic mech, basically. <laughs> like a suit, like a military sort of thing. Transformers are a sentient mechanical species. All I have to say is- But they were made that way thanks to the power of Transformium, as we all know. Um, mm -hmm. But they no, it's not that cool. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well earned. Um, you know what? Thank God for capitalism. We got choices. Mm -hmm. you, know? you can see your squid. You can see your Gundam. Yeah. Maybe you can buy the two. I'd like to see the squid fight the Gundam. That's coming later this fall on Sci-Fi Channel. Probably, probably. Yeah. More examples. Uh, let's take a look at this giant Godzilla head coming out of a hotel in Tokyo. That's cool. That is pretty cool. I think that might be my favorite one. In fact, it's, I'm not the only one who appreciates a giant Godzilla. So does Brett Ehrlich and Brooke. Look at them. Oh, they were actually at that one. That's cool. I love those pictures. <laughs> do, do we not have the Titan? Um, let me scroll down. Uh, Brett produced this segment. Oh, so. I hope we got the Titan. Um, so. Nagoro Village, uh, there are handmade dolls that are placed around town to replace the aging population. <gasps> um, there are likely more dolls uh, than people in the town. Jeez, that is fascinating. That so is we have dark. Some no. Wow. No, don't do it. Wow. I'm sure there's stuff we're missing about this. Damn. And that, so I don't want to be insensitive, but yowza. Wow. That is fascinating. And then, um, okay, uh, that, oh, no. that could be very sad. So I'm gonna move off of it. Yes. We're having a good time. <laughs> um, in Nishi Rokugu Park, uh, there is a rubber tire Godzilla. They apparently really appreciate Godzilla in Japan. So there you go. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's big. Did Makes you watch sense. Godzilla vs. King Kong, the most recent one? I have not watched it, okay. it yet, but you know what? I might watch it tonight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need a movie to get into. Um, uh, I haven't watched that might not be the one then, Thief but. yet. I don't know what what's like holding me. Oh, watch what? Oh, okay. This story is now over. Other topics. Okay, so we didn't get to the penis. That's probably for the best. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, <laughs> no, I reminded her. <laughs> no, no, we gotta get to the penis. Okay, okay. Um, so let's just let's do that. Let's. Uh, so I think that the that's thing just that the lack of want, dancing talking. But. Kobe memorialized uh, the 1995 Kobe quake with a symbol of strength. The 59 foot robot called. Tetsu Jin in 28. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I do cool. like that. Oh my God, when you see the scale of the people, that thing is huge. It is huge. That's what makes it so fascinating. Like I thought that was like a couple people tall. That thing is massive. They have that's so- That's the coolest one by far out of all these. Oh, you love it. You love it. You're so excited. Shut up. You're so excited. Well, this next one's pretty cool too. Well, speaking but, of yeah. excited, all right, look, come on, come on. Let's get right to uh, the- the thing that we've all been waiting for, and that is <laughs> the Penis Festival in Kawasaki, Japan, throws the Kanaramara Matsuri Festival, blending religion, blacksmiths, vagina. Uh, dentata. What is that? What is vagina the, dentata? Yeah. It's a vagina that has teeth. Wow. Things. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a movie about that actually that was filmed in Austin, Texas. It was pretty good. Fascinating. It was the first date I went on actually, watch that movie. Sex workers and straight up facts Wasn't of my life. Okay. <laughs> that is that is a photo. I don't see any teeth there, thankfully. According but. to an origin tale dating back to Japan's uh, Edo period, a serious case of vagina dentata affected a local woman. Thankfully, the local blacksmith forged a cure in the form of an icon dildo. Iron. Oh, I'm dildo. sorry, an iron dildo. Um, I should probably read from the actual screen instead of my <laughs> computer screen where I can't see because I don't wear my glasses. Um, so yes, uh, an iron dildo. The shrine remains dedicated to this blacksmith to this day. I There's a lot of unanswered questions about that cure. <laughs> uh, and as a note- Yes. There it is. Yes. That's what you've been waiting There's for. others too. You've never watched an episode of Attack on Titan, right? Are you kidding me? I watch it all day, every day. Bro. Okay, thank Come you on, for John. condescending me. Anyway, uh, it's a, it's a good anime. It's one of the only animes I've watched, but it's it's well, at least the first couple seasons are good. That is so awesome. Imagine being a fan of like imagine if you were a fan of a show about mm -hmm. things that big, and you could go and put yourself in its hand. How cool would that be? I mean, it would make my life. I really wish that I can do it one day. No, I, I that one is cool. I that is awesome. I love all of this. I I think it's such a fascinating place with interesting. Thank you. And unique 
tourist attractions. There are, there and are. I want to I want to be able to enjoy them one day. So hopefully okay. I'll be able Let's to go. travel to Japan and spend a full two weeks there. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.